self-serving bias, taking credit for our successes but blaming outside factors for our failures. You ace a test and tell yourself it's because you're smart and studied hard. When you fail a test, you blame it on the questions being unfair or a lack of sleep. Availability heuristic. Making judgments based on how easily examples come to mind and not on how likely they truly are. After seeing several news reports about shark attacks, you overestimate how likely it is to be attacked by a shark at the beach, even though it's statistically very rare. Illusory correlation. Seeing relationships between things that are actually unrelated or weakly related. You wear a certain lucky shirt to a baseball game and your team wins. You decide that the shirt must somehow be influencing the outcome. Illusory superiority. Mistakenly thinking we're better than average at many things. Most people believe they are above average drivers, even though that's statistically impossible. The spotlight effect. Feeling like everyone is focused on you and your actions more intensely than they really are. You spill a drink on yourself at a party and feel intensely embarrassed, believing everyone is staring and judging you. In reality, most people probably didn't notice or don't care much. Cognitive dissonance. The uneasy feeling when your actions don't match your beliefs, leading you to adjust one or the other. A smoker knows that smoking is bad for their health, but they continue to smoke. To reduce the uncomfortable feeling of this conflict, they might convince themselves that the risks aren't that severe or that they'll quit eventually. The IKEA effect. Placing higher value on things we put effort into building ourselves. You build a bookshelf from IKEA and feel strangely proud of it afterward. Even if it's a little wobbly, you value it more than a similar or even nicer, pre-assembled bookshelf from a store. Dunning-Kruger effect. When people who know very little about a topic mistakenly think they're experts. Someone who has just started learning guitar believes they could play in a band after only a couple of lessons. They lack the experience to realize how much they still need to practice. Gambler's fallacy. The mistaken belief that if something happened several times recently, it's less likely to happen again soon, or vice versa. You're flipping a coin, and it lands on heads five times in a row. You assume it's more likely to land on tails next, because it has to even out. However, each coin flip is independent and still has a 50-50 chance. Mere exposure effect. Simply being exposed to something repeatedly makes us like it more over time. Initially, you dislike a song you hear on the radio, but after hearing it repeatedly, you start to find it catchy and might even like it. Recency bias giving newly learned information more weight in your decisions than older information. When choosing a restaurant, you're more likely to remember the last couple places you ate, whether good or bad, and base your decision on those, rather than your overall memory of lots of great places. The bystander effect, being less likely to help someone in need when other people are also present. You witness an accident on a busy street. You assume someone else will call for help or step in, so you do nothing. This inaction is more likely when there are many bystanders than if you are alone. Zero risk bias, preferring situations that eliminate a small risk entirely, even if an alternative has greater overall benefits. You choose a surgery with a 1% chance of complications over a non-surgical treatment with a 2% chance of leaving some of your condition untreated. You prefer eliminating one risk entirely, even though the overall odds of something bad happening are higher. Hyperbolic discounting. Choosing smaller, immediate rewards over larger rewards you'll get later. You're offered $50 today or $100 in a year. Even though the future offer is better, the immediate reward is very tempting, and you might choose the smaller amount now. Omission bias. Tendency to judge harmful actions we fail to take as less bad than harmful actions we did take. A doctor chooses not to prescribe a treatment that has a small risk of serious side effects, even though it could save a patient's life. Later, the patient dies. The doctor feels less guilty than they would if their prescribed treatment had directly caused death. Self-handicapping. Creating obstacles for ourselves to have an excuse if we fail. A student stays up all night partying before an important exam. If they do poorly, they can blame the lack of sleep rather than their ability. Belief bias. Letting our prior beliefs influence if we think a logical argument is sound, rather than just its structure. Someone thinks the argument, all birds can fly. Penguins are birds. Therefore, penguins can fly is sound. Because they already believe penguins can fly, they don't notice the illogical structure of the argument. Sunk cost fallacy, continuing to invest in something that's failing because we've already put so much into it, also called escalation of commitment. 
You keep putting money into a failing business venture because you've already invested so much time and resources, even though logical analysis suggests you should cut your losses. Misinformation effect. Incorrect memories being shaped by misleading information given after an event. A witness to a crime is repeatedly asked out a red car that was never present. Later, they may confidently remember seeing a red car at the crime scene. False consensus effect. Assuming more people agree with our opinions and beliefs than they really do. You love pineapple on pizza. You are surprised to find out many of your friends hate it because you assumed everyone felt the same way you do. Planning fallacy. Consistently underestimating how long something will take. You think you can complete a big work project in two weeks. It ends up taking you much longer because you didn't account for unexpected delays and complications. Representativeness heuristic. Judging how likely something is to belong to a category based on how much it seems like a stereotypical member of that category. You meet someone who is shy, likes to read, and wears glasses. You assume they are a librarian rather than a truck driver even though there are many more truck drivers than librarians. Effect heuristic, relying on gut feelings rather than deep analysis when making decisions. A car commercial focuses on showing people having fun on road trips, rather than explaining the car's practical features. They want you to form a positive emotional connection with the product. Endowment effect, valuing something more highly just because we own it. You wouldn't pay $20 for a coffee mug in a store. However, once you own that same mug, you wouldn't be willing to sell it for less than $30. Illusion of asymmetric insight. Thinking we understand other people better than they understand us. You get in an argument with a friend. You feel like you understand their motivations perfectly, but they don't understand yours at all. In reality, you both likely feel this way and have a flawed perception of how well you grasp each other's points of view.